In the past, all trailers were generally built as low as was reasonably possible. So every trailer had a wheel well like this. That allowed the floor to sit down between the tires. And in this case, the floor is 19 inches off of the ground. You may have noticed, though, that many trailers now are much taller. Uh, this particular one, the floor is 36 inches off the ground, so almost twice as high as the older one over here. Uh, at first glance, that height wouldn't seem to make a lot of sense because a taller trailer is going to take a lot more power to pull it through the air. The sidewall can catch a lot more crosswind and the center of gravity is much higher. So these taller trailers aren't necessarily our favorite ones to tow around, uh, especially on the racetrack. So why would anybody want a big, tall, gangly trailer to tow? Well, the reason is this massive interior space and that's made possible by these large slide outs that go all the way to the floor. These large slide outs are what makes the height necessary. The bottom of this slide out has to clear the top of this tire. So no wheel wells will work on this unit. Now this modern lightweight trailer is still low and still has a slide out because the slide out is above the floor. Um, but it's a much smaller slide out. So you've decided you want all that space. You want a nice big roomy trailer. Then the question becomes, how are you going to tow this tall trailer safely and comfortably? Well, obviously you're going to start with a, a really great handling tow vehicle, something like this Mercedes GL. Um, on this Mercedes, we've actually strengthened the hitch so that we can transfer weight effectively to the front wheels. And it's had the tire size optimized for towing. As well, we hook it up properly. So the ball here is very close to the back bumper of the Mercedes. And this ball mount is the correct geometry. We're getting the correct type of weight transfer when it turns corners. And as well, we have um, friction sway control. As well as being hooked up properly, this trailer is fitted with a new device that is mounted underneath the front end, hidden up in the chassis that senses oscillations in the trailer and actually applies the trailer brakes on one side or the other, whichever is needed to help straighten it out. Um, this really makes towing a large trailer, in theory, much safer, much more stable. Um, now we're going to test it and see how it works. Uh, fitted on the dash, we have two lights connected to the right and left trailer brakes that will tell us when the sway control system actually actuates. They light equally when the brakes are applied, as you see here. First of all, we wanted to see if it would actuate annoyingly when not necessary. So running smoothly through this 100-foot slalom course, the system never intruded. The trailer leans to the limit of its suspension travel, but tracks fine. Uh, this lane change test has 12-foot lanes with a 50-foot opening. On exiting the lane change, the system briefly actuated the right-hand trailer brake. Here we take the unit out on the unstructured portion of the track and try and get it out of shape. This is accomplished by whipping the wheel aggressively one way and then whipping it back before the trailer completely changes direction. Normally this maneuver can cause any trailer to sway, but a tall trailer like this can become quite uncontrollable. As boring as it looks from the outside, inside the Mercedes, the cameraman could not hold his camera still due to the violence of the maneuver. Here you can see the lights alternating as the system breaks one side of the trailer and then the other to control the side-to-side -side movement. On this lap, I toss it around very violently, and you can see the trailer is kept completely in check by the automatic system. Interestingly, the Mercedes stability control system did not activate, yet when tossing an Airstream around without the electronic sway control, it does. In this close-up, you can see smoke come off the trailer tire as the brake locks up on the driver's side. In conclusion, the electronic sway control is very effective. It does not replace a proper hitch setup or sway control. It's like the airbag in your car. You hope you never need it, but should the occasion arise, you'll be very glad it is there. This technology is the ideal solution for these taller trailers and a worthwhile safety feature on even the best towing trailers. It's an easy retrofit to any trailer with electric brakes in just a few hours.